Hi there, my name is Dr. Scott Melidio, and in this short under five minute video, we will be covering writing the formula for a binary ionic compound. First, let's go over what makes a binary ionic compound using sodium chloride, NaCl, as our example. A binary ionic compound is made up of a metal, the cation, Na+, which is always written first, and a nonmetal, the anion, Cl-, minus, which will always be written second. The compound has an overall net charge of zero. This means that we have a charge balance where the number of cations, one sodium, and the charge on a cation, plus one, is neutralized by the number of anions, one chloride, and the charge on the anion, minus one. This can be represented mathematically by the following equation. The number of cation atoms times the charge of a cation plus the number of anion atoms times the charge of an anion equals zero. If we use our sodium chloride example here, it would be one times a positive one plus one times a negative one equals zero. One times a positive one equals positive one. One times a negative one equals negative one. Positive one plus a negative one equals zero. Yes, we did it. Let's use another example, aluminum oxide, and go over the crossover method. For this method, the superscript of the aluminum cation plus three becomes the subscript of the anion oxide. The superscript of the anion oxide to minus becomes the subscript of the aluminum cation. We can check our work by using the formula mentioned earlier in this video. Two aluminum atoms at a plus three charge plus three oxygen atoms at a minus two charge equals zero. Two times positive three equals positive six, and three times negative two equals negative six. Positive six plus a negative six equals zero. Yay! Now it is your turn. Write the formula for magnesium chloride. Please pause the video to give yourself time to do this. Did you get MgCl2? Magnesium has a plus two charge and chloride has a minus one charge. You are ready to watch the next video, which will cover writing a binary ionic compound's name from a chemical formula. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.